Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, well, okay, we're doing that thing we do, where we look at upcoming sets and recent sets, and we decide, right, where should your money go? Which of these sets should you be investing in? Which should you be collecting? Which of these sets should be your priority? But I'm going to warn you right off the bat, this is the most awkward, the most difficult one we've done so far. Because we need to look at Brilliant Stars, the most recent release set, which we all know by now is, is kind of brilliant. And we're going to be looking at Astral Radiance, the upcoming set. The one which is, you know, we actually got pre-releases starting for that in a couple of weeks. And then Pokemon Go, which again, actually might be less, pretty much just a week until Astral Radiance pre-releases. And then Pokemon Go, which looks like an absolute banger of a mini set. So, where should we go? Well, we'll start off with a quick reminder of Brilliant Stars. And by now we talked about Brilliant Stars a bunch. You should know what the deal is with Brilliant Stars. It's a good set. And I think at this stage that's pretty much been borne out. I mean, obviously in terms of playability, Arceus V-Star has proven itself to be one of the very best cards in the entire game. But in terms of value here and what's worth collecting, there are some good cards in Brilliant Stars. You've got multiple Charizard cards. I mean, really here we're looking at the Rainbow Rare V-Star and the alternate art of the V. But we've also got the full art of the V, which it should not be slept on. That's pretty cool. Um, you've got the gold Arceus, which is quite nice. And to be fair, it is worth noting we've talked about this. A lot of these cards are dropping in value significantly. Full up Marnie's another one to look at. But I've showed you videos lately about how the, the, the cards, the singles from Brilliant Stars have dropped quite nicely. Uh, gold Ultra Ball is probably another one we should mention. And Gold Galarian Moltres. Those are other cards which are probably going to hold value in the future. But then we've also got this Trainer Gallery subset. And that's got some brilliant cards in. You know, you've got alternate arts of Umbreon VMAX and Sylveon VMAX. Although, let's be clear, I've said this, but let me make it 100% clear. The Umbreon VMAX, the character super rare, value-wise, is not much more than 10% of the alternate art VMAX from Evolving Skies. When I say it's not even close, I mean it's proper job, not even close. But there are a lot of cards from Brilliant Stars which are absolutely worth getting, absolutely worth picking up, absolutely worth investing in. A lot of the time it's a hunt for Charizard, admittedly, but there are some really cool cards in there. And of course, you've got that Trainer Gallery subset, you know, that Alchemy is one of my favourite Pokemon cards they have ever, ever done. There are a lot of very cool cards. The thing is, if we put that next to Astral Radiance, things are getting rather interesting indeed. Because we know quite a lot from Astral Radiance. We know at this stage that the character super rares of Starmie and Garchomp from Battle Region, we, we, okay, we've had Starmie actually confirmed, and at this stage I'm not willing to believe Garchomp isn't, okay? Garchomp's just coming. And those are going to be very popular cards. Garchomp, because it's, you know, just a brilliant Pokemon. And Starmie, because you've got Misty and that artwork is absolutely stunning. But they're probably not going to be on the level of a Charizard. Like, if we're perfectly honest here, you know, me and you, that Charizard's going to outpace them. Of all of these alternate art cards, it's going to be the Charizard that really bears out. And to be fair, you know, we have a look at Battle Region, because we know that Astral Radiance at this stage, we've seen enough to know that it's basically an amalgamation of Battle Region, the mini set over in Japan, and then Space Juggler and Time Gazer, which is your Sword and Shield 10 double set. We know at this stage, we, we've essentially had confirmation that that is what we're looking at here. And there are some very good cards coming in Astral Radiance in terms of, you know, character super rares and character rares. But I'm not entirely sure that value-wise they're going to be outpacing them. Like, I think the Hygon Asuke Hoot Hoot is one of the absolute, again, one of the absolute best cards around. And I do think it is absolutely ridiculous, over-the-top stunning. It, it's one of the most beautiful cards I think they've ever done, and I'm not exaggerating. But value-wise, it's probably not going to be all up there. We've got Gold Choice Belt, which is going to be pretty gosh darn good. But there's nothing in there to rival Gold Arceus in terms of your Gold V-Star. 
We do have Roxanne and Arita, and they are actually going to be very, very sought after full arts. Quite possibly, quite possibly on the level of Marnie, maybe even more than Marnie. They are both absolutely crushing over in Japan. In terms of looking at value, these are looking very, very high indeed. Like super high. So that is something to bear in mind. We've got a couple of full art supporters coming, which do seem like they are going to make a big splash in terms of, you know, value. And in terms of being cards you really want to be pulling out. But in terms of alternate art cards, there's nothing on the same level. Now there are a couple out there, don't get me wrong. Um, the Dialga and Palkia. Dialga because it's got amazing artwork and Palkia because it's also got amazing artwork but looks like it's going to be one of the best cards in the set. And actually, just to walk back what I said a minute ago, maybe the gold Palkia could... It could be a bit of a bit of a contender to that gold Arceus, but I don't think it's going to reach those same levels, let me be clear. And, you know, I love Hasui and Sneasler V. I've got the Japanese version of that, but it's not going to get up there with the others, and I don't think that's a particularly controversial statement. We are going to have Gold Path to the Peak, those lovely Gold Kato Stadiums. There should be three Gold Kato Stadiums in the set, and that's wonderful for me. But Path to the Peak's the one that's really going to bring the value here, because we know it's one of the best cards in the game right now. But it's also a super fancy rare gold version. And while we're here, we can also mention that Radiant Pokemon are making their debut here. We know that we are getting three Radiant Pokemon. Those are going to be your Greninja, your Horlucha, and your Heatran. And that's very cool. And if you're a fan of Legends Arceus, the game, then, you know, this is the set. It's bringing in stuff like Arena that I showed you a moment ago. It's bringing in stuff like um, Cleaver and Weird Ear character rares. You know, Gold Jubilee Village is another one of those Gold Kato cards. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming here. But in terms of value, I'm not sure. Now, let me be clear. In terms of cool, I'm picking Astral Radiance over Brilliant Stars any day long. All day, every day. You've got your sparkling Pokemon. You've got the Legends Arceus stuff. You've got the Gold Kato Stadiums. There is so much in there that's amazing. But I don't think there's any cards in there that are going to really rival your Charizard. Sure, there are some really good full art supporters, or at least two in the set which are going to be nuts. And we've got some really good gold cards. But in terms of your alternate arts, it's not there. And we know there are going to be some good cards in the character super rare conversation. But are they going to be as good as Umbreon and Sylveon? There's a good chance they're not. So if you want my honest opinion, in terms of coolness, I think Astral Radiance wins. But if you're looking for an investment, if you're looking for value, I think Brilliant Stars might be better in the long term than Astral Radiance. Although, let me be clear, we don't know. We have no real way of knowing. And also, outside of the Charizard, it is fair to say that the Brilliant Stars singles have been dropping. But then again, that could happen with Astral Radiance and they won't have the Charizard. Now, if we move on to Pokemon Go here, this one is a real wild card. We've now been shown a bunch from the set, and that is awesome, but there are still a lot of question marks hanging. We know that there are going to be three Radiant Pokemon in the set, at least. Your Gen 1 starter Pokemon, your Charizard, your Venusaur, and your Blastoise. We don't know what they look like, although let's be clear, expect them to be the three most sought after of the Radiant Pokemon. It doesn't really matter what they do. I mean, Greninja's moderately popular, and that got a Radiant Pokemon, and Gardevoir's getting a Radiant Pokemon, but there really isn't anything on the same level as a Charizard, for instance, that we've seen in terms of getting these Radiant Pokemon, so that Radiant Charizard could end up being a big deal. Depends on pull rates and things of that nature, but certainly having those Gen 1 starter Pokemon is a pretty big deal, and that's going to make it a very sought-after set. We know that we are getting Mewtwo as a V-Star, and there may well be a Rainbow Rare version and a Gold version of that, which is actually going to be a pretty big deal because people love Mewtwo, and I still contend that card looks absolutely nuts good broken, which is kind of cool. But I do worry in terms of, and I say worry, that's not really the right word, but I am wondering where the money cards are really coming from here. Maybe there's a Gold Mewtwo V-Star? maybe Radiant Charizard, but I think it's fair to say that Radiant Pokemon are probably going to be easier to pull 
than things like, you know, your alternate art V. So that's probably going to make a bit of a difference. And of course, it's a smaller set overall. So each of the individual cards are going to be easier to pull. Certainly in terms of promo cards, I think it's an absolutely stunning set. You know, you've got that Radiant Eevee that comes in the Radiant Eevee collection, which I think is absolutely amazing. And we've got the full art team leaders, you know, of, the, of those three, you know, Pokemon Go teams. But again, you don't need to go and buy packs to try and get them. You can just pick them up in your sealed products. We've got those special collections which have them in. But if we look at these older sets... Things like Hidden Fakes, things of that nature. It is the sealed products that end up being the really valuable things down the line a lot of the time. So maybe the trick is going to be getting some of these weirder sets and just kind of holding on to them sealed. Certainly in terms of singles, I see this going the way of celebrations. I've told you a few times in terms of celebrations, really there are two cards in that set. Eh, maybe three. In terms of value... And that is, in the classic collection, you've got your Charizard and your Umbreon. And then in the main collection, you've got Mew. And none of those are like $100 cards. Although they'll probably get there at some point, especially the Charizard. But they're both pretty cool. They're both worth a few quid. All three of them, I should say. I think we could be seeing that with Pokemon Go. Now, in terms of coolness, I love Pokemon Go. They're, it seems to really be focusing on Gen 1 Pokemon. Which is going to make it a very, very popular set. And in fact, if I'm not going crazy, I believe that with a couple of exceptions, they've really just been showing off Gen 1 Pokemon so far. You know, we've seen Ipom and Ambipom, which are not Gen 1 Pokemon. But I think, oh, and Blissey and Melmetal. But, you know, these are very much kind of super popular Pokemon outside of Gen 1. And then, you know, Melmetal had to be in there. But really, this does seem to be a set which is really trying to appeal to lapsed Pokemon fans and casual Pokemon fans. And a lot of these promos are really cool. But it's going to be a smaller set. But that might be a reason for you to go for it. You know, the main set of Pokemon Go is 78 cards. Which is tiny. The main set of Brilliant Stars, by comparison is 172 cards. That's a huge difference. So I suppose where we end up is this. Brilliant Stars, we know has got very playable cards, and it's got a bunch of really good cards, most notably Charizard. Astral Radiance is probably a cooler set, because you've got the whole Legends Arceus stuff going on. And Radiant Pokemon are coming in for the first time. And we know there are a couple of really good full art supporters. And then you've got Pokemon Go, which is a bit of a wild card. It could be a smaller, easier to complete set with no real money cards. Or it could be a nice set which is easier to collect, which appeals to a lot of people, including yourself listening. And to be fair, it could have some really cool stuff in. You know, if we've got Gold Mewtwo V-Star Radiant Charizard, those cards could end up being very, very popular down the line. This is one of those ones where it's hard to give a conclusion. When we're looking at Evolving Skies versus Fusion Strike... That's an easy one. Evolving Skies is a better set that is definitely holding its value better in the long term. That's just the way it is. And there's not really a huge amount of counter-argument there from most people. Here it's not the same. Brilliant Stars and Astral Radiance are quite similar sets. But Brilliant Stars has a Charizard. And that might end up being the deciding factor. Pokemon Go... We've seen a bunch from the set, and we now have a pretty good sense of what the set is, but there's still a bunch of unknowns, but it is going to be an easy to complete set, and maybe that's going to appeal. I don't know. I've laid out what you need to know, and now it's over to you guys. I really do want to hear from every single person on this one. Tell me which of these you think is the best one. Tell me which you think is going to be the best investment. Tell me which one you think is going to be better for you personally. Which one is cooler. Use whichever criteria make you happy, ladies and gentlemen. Just make sure you go nuts and you be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, 
Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.